Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing this fine Monday evening at our Monday Night Live at Emmanuel Everywhere? Good to, to uh, I can't see you, but I know you are watching. And so, uh, so good for you all to be joining me again tonight for another one. Um, we want to be able to just keep on pushing our church and using multiple ways to do so. And of course, our Monday Night Lives do just that, help us propel the message from yesterday into the week and give us some more to chew on, some more to think about, uh, some more to uh, uh, you know go study and more to pray about. Amen. Amen. So we want to jump right into that. I don't even want to waste any time because I'm really excited about this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't want to waste no time. Yesterday, uh, Reverend Celinda Miranda, our associate minister, led us in a continued message around increase on yesterday. Uh, she delivered a message from a sermon entitled, Will You, Will I Answer God's Call? Will you, or will I answer God's call? And the text that she used that we'll also use today is probably one of the most quoted, but also misquoted uh, verses of the Bible. And it is out of Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the, the Lord and are called according to his purpose. See, there are some key things in there. First, love the Lord, called according to his purpose. So sometimes we say all things work together for the good. That's the verse. And she kind of accented that. But that scripture truly reads. And let me read it again. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, Romans 8 and 28. If you had any thoughts from yesterday and you heard the message, why don't you go ahead and enter them into the chat so I can just see what you guys are thinking about as she delivered that message. But I wanna to talk to you today and specifically around a profound statement that she made during the message. And I just wanna, I just wanna stay right there because it was such a profound statement. I wanna keep it kinda right there because I think that is the push for this week. She said in a profound statement that leads us into weeks was her saying that oftentimes we start to define our purpose in life by what fits in the parameters of what we can see and what we can do. Let me say it again, because that's what she said. She said that oftentimes we define our purpose in life by what fits in the parameters of what we can see and what we can do. She goes on to say that if God is our creator, if he is the one who has provided for us and sustained us, can we as believers then step out on faith and see how he shows up? Uh, I think that we can stay there for this week, y'all, because God's parameters might be outside of what we can see and what we can quantize. So my question tonight is, are you a stepper or are you a stopper? Hmm? Are you boxed into a situation where you've stopped moving or are you a person of faith that's going to step even though you don't know what the situation will, you don't know how to unfold, you don't know what's going to happen, but are you going to step out in faith, trusting that God knows? And if the text is true and all things work together for the good, then you can't go ahead of that, you can't go to the side of that, you can't go around that, it's a process. You can't see all the things that are working together at the same time, oftentimes, but, but can we rely on him to push forward? So the question that I asked, and I, if I could put a title to what we'll talk about tonight is, can you step to this? Can you step to this? Um, in 1987, one of my favorite uh, rappers of all time is, is Eric B, but he, at that time he was in a group with his DJ and they were known as Eric B and Rakim. And the album was called Paid in Full. It was released in 1987. And one of the songs that was one of my favorite songs on that album was a song that called, I Know You Got Soul. That was the name of the song. And Rock Hymns begins that song. That, I mean, as the beat kicks in, it's got all this movement to it. And he jumps in and he says, it's been a long time. 
I shouldn't have left you without a strong rhyme to step to. Can I make you change your angle to that verse of your vantage point a little bit and make you think about this a different way? If God writes the lyrics of our very life in his will, then you must know our God has never taken any time off. He's never left us. The rhyme and the reason to your life has never been hindered from you stepping. Your only hindrance from you stepping has been you and only you. Your only hindrance from you stepping into what God would want you to do is you've been listening to the enemy tell you that you can't step. But believe you me, I want to talk to some people tonight who believe and know that there is nothing the devil can do to stop you from stepping into where God wants you to go. I need some trusters tonight. I am looking for some steppers tonight, some long steppers, some high steppers, some, some people who are not afraid of, 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 of and not going to give up. And no matter how long it takes, you're going to keep on stepping in, in ways that you don't see. Even when the parameters don't add up, you're going to keep on trusting. You're going to two-step through every door with a praise. Can you step to this is the question. What is this then? This is whatever you're going through, whatever you're in the middle of, whatever challenge that you might have, whatever you're facing that's too difficult for you, that's this. Whatever you have that's standing between you and increase, that's this. Whatever is your next level that God is looking to move you on to, that's this. Whatever is the prize that you're trying to reach in your life's goals and your prayers, whatever it is that you're seeking from the Lord, healing, deliverance, whatever it is, step to that because your prize is at the end of your faith. Continue to step. And so if I can do this, all I want to do is close tonight was something that it reminded me of when I listened about stepping and I think about stepping and I thought about Reverend Selinda and her message about stepping on faith is the movie uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Um, in this movie, Indiana Jones is paired with his father, who is played by Sean Connery. And his dad has already done all this research because they're trying to get to the Holy Grail. It's a chalice that Jesus drank from that, that, so, that they thought would have some type of healing properties in it. And so they wanted to get to the Holy Grail. And the dad had done all, all of this research and work and he had it all compiled in this book. In this book, he had every single trap and snare that could ever be set was in this book. I'm finna shout myself, but you you might be walking with me right now. Every in this book, everything that could possibly happen uh, uh, along the way and all the traps that would be set on their journey was already in this book and it had the images and everything. And so when the dad couldn't do it, he gave the book over to his son and his son's job was to carry out the mission in order to make sure that they reached the prize. Oh, that's for somebody today. I mean, he had to use all the things that were written and documented in the book by his father. And he had to put them to work and, and go through each and every test. Well, this last test that he gets to, the last test that he makes his way to is the test called the leap of faith. He gets to the end of a corridor and it's a, a canyon and there is no way and no bridge to get to the other side. No bridge to get to the other side. No way to get to the other side. No walkway, no rope. It's too long to jump. He can't reach it. And, and his father, who had been injured, his father, who had been injured, begins to speak in the air, speak in the atmosphere, the things that his son should be already knowing from the book. And so he speaks out loud to his son and he says, uh, uh, you've got to have faith, boy. You've got to trust. And so without even thinking, the, the, the uh, Indiana Jones starts thinking about what those words meant to step out on faith. And do you know that with nothing beneath him, nothing that looked like it was there to catch him, he stuck one foot out from the canyon and he stepped down and wouldn't you know it, it was a bridge that nobody can see. It was a mirage that couldn't be seen. And he was able to step across and get the prize. Oh, if I had an organist, 
I would just work on, if we're going for the prize, I would have them start playing, I should wear a crown right now. Because when you think about what Jesus did, the son that came along, that created the bridge for all of us to cross over. And all we've got to do is have have faith to step out and step on to it. And I'm looking for some steppers tonight. I don't know where you are and I don't know what you're going through, but I know that God requires us to trust him. Trust him with your life. Trust him with your finances. Trust him with your babies. Everything that you can't do. We understand that the world is evil. We know that things are going on left and right, but I still believe there is a covering when we trust in faith faith and pray over our children and all that we have, God can still cover. Trust. I'm looking for some steppers tonight. Some folk who are willing to step into their future. Some folk who are willing to trust. Some folk who are willing to know it doesn't matter what the parameters are. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Everything might not be called. There's sometimes that a sickness might be called for in his will. We didn't call for that, but he called for it. But it all somehow works together because when we lose, we also gain. We gain a new perspective. Everything that I lost in my loved ones, I picked up in seeing them in me. Everything became alive with what I'm going to do now. Now I'm no longer the student. Now I'm the teacher. Do you see how that works? God makes everything work together. So our charge this week, our charge this week, step, step. We're looking for some steppers today. And I just want to ask you, whatever situation that you're in, can you step to this? I think you can. Let's check out the, uh, kind of felt myself today, amen, but God has been good. God is kind. And let's see what we got. We got some good evenings. Amen. 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 And so bless you today. We want to definitely lift up those who are in bereavement. Sister Kelly, we know that you are in bereavement right now, along with many others. And so we are certainly going to pray for you tonight. And we want to pray for all those who are lost. And we also want to pray for that, that group of people who were killed in, in that club, that, they, that dance hall that they were in celebrating the Lunar uh, New Year. And so we want to pray for those families as well. Evil is still in the world, but I tell you the truth. God can still touch, and he touches through us, and so, so we've got to be the hands and feet of God in our communities. Let's go to the Lord in prayer and our end tonight. God in heaven, we come to you this night, God, trusting as much as we can, trusting the only way we know how. In the midst of doubt, we still are attempting to trust you day by day. In the midst of looking at parameters of what we see, and, and what we do, we still want to be able to look outside the parameters of what you can do. God, you can do more than, than, than what, what our finite minds can see. And so, God, we pray right now that, that you would just lead us into that. Allow us to step into everything that you have for us. Allow us to step into the increase that we are seeking this year in every way. God, we lift up those who are bereaved, not only Sister Kelly, but many others who are going through bereavement right now. We pray that you would touch Touch and send your, send your healing, send your comfort. Touch them as only, the only way that you can. And then God, we lift up all those families who are in the midst of, of bereavement and going through the pain of loss from an evil person in this world. God, we pray right now that you would touch that family and send them, those families and send them comfort. And God, we pray that you would use us wherever we may be. God, certainly you are God with us, Emmanuel. And that means you're everywhere. And so wherever we are, that's where you are as well. So help us to infect our community, to share the love of Christ so that somebody else might know you before it's everlasting too late. We thank you and we declare that you have always been a keeper, always been a sustainer. So we know we can trust you. And so we are gonna step to this. In Jesus name we pray, amen. All right, everybody, y'all know I love you. And uh, let me look at the chat one, one last time. Amen. Ah, uh, okay, we are definitely, I, I missed this while I was praying, but we're gonna definitely lift up Sister Oliver in the hospital. Definitely, certainly so, certainly so. Amen. Amen.
Well, God bless y'all tonight. I love y'all, and we will see you again soon. We got some great things in store for Emmanuel everywhere. Hopefully, some of you all who are sports enthusiasts have been watching our uh, couch coaches. Uh, that thing's been exciting. And uh, we also have a bunch of other things that we're planning to, to release real soon. Uh, definitely a prayer meeting. We're talking about an online five-day revival. We, that's in the works. So we got a whole lot of things that were happening right now. Well, we're going to bring on five preachers or you know, however many preachers that are for the theme of the nights and, and, and do that and bring that on everywhere as well. So we got a lot of things that planned and we're going to keep going. And, and once again, please, if you, you guys have any needs, please reach out to me. Put them in our group chat if you feel led to. Or you can go and message me and or be anonymous and, and uh, send a message to me as well. Or you can reach out to me in person. However you, however you desire, I want to be here for you. All right? God bless y'all. Have a good night.